Hey, how are you doing, Mark? Good to see everybody today. Um, I'm uh, excited to be here tonight. I want to say hi to everybody. Hello to Chris. Good evening, everyone. Glad to be back. Hello to Daniel. Hey, folks. How's it going? And uh, yeah, so last we saw our uh, intrepid heroes, we were at the... Uh, um, Cossack camps, and uh, we had had a uh, basically a night of revelry, and uh, and yeah, so uh, good times, good times were had by all. So we're still at the uh, Cossack camps. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone already. He's passed out on the floor. <laughs> um, I will go in and uh, get a few hours rest. Okay. All right. Are you, uh, you going with him, Sveta, or are you doing something else? Uh, I'm, I'm going to sleep. Oh, but, right. Uh, you, you're going to sleep. That's right. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell Mark to uh, tell the, the chief that I, I appreciate how, how his clan parties. It's, it's a fun group. <laughs> fun group. <laughs> All right. Um, all right, I'm sorry, just a second. There we go. All right. Um, okay. So, um, you find the chief there at the, uh, kind of where he was hanging out before with the same people he was hanging out with. And, uh. By the way, I wanted to point out this picture again. I know I mentioned it before, but I wanted to make sure I was clarified a couple things. The the mace he has wedged in his belt um, is wood. When I said it looks like what uh, Arthur had, um, I realized as thinking about it, uh, the, uh, you know, what Arthur had smashes monsters. Um, this is symbolic. Um the other thing I wanted to say about it, and I know I've kind of said it before, it's a symbol of power, a symbol of leadership, but it's Ukrainian, right? So some of your, mo most of your opponents are Russian. Um, you won't find that being carried by a Russian. If you see somebody with that symbolic mace, it instantly identifies them, oh, they're Ukrainian. Um, Anyway, so he's there. Uh, you can see he's he's talking. Uh, he's actually talking to the guy, 
to his right, the one with the blue and yellow scarf. They're they're having a conversation about something. Um, you actually, uh, you're close enough. You can hear they're talking about horses, and uh, they're talking about uh, um. They're talking about, you know, this guy's horse and and uh, they think that it would breed really well with this other guy's horse uh, because this guy's horse is fast and that other guy's horse is fast. And so, boy, they'd get some really fast horses. And um, the guy with the scarf, the blue and yellow scarf says, yeah, fast is good, but we want strong horses too. And he kind of recommends something else. And... Uh, um, Right about that time, the chief looks up, he sees you, and he smiles, and he motions for you to come over. They, they both laugh. They both laugh. Yes. Is there anything else? Hmm. It's interesting. The first thing you mentioned, he says, uh, come with me. And he stands up and everybody kind of quickly stands up and he walks into that uh, kind of around that tent behind him and uh, in the door. And uh, as as he goes in, he holds the door open for the guy behind him. And uh, um, by the time you get in, you see he's leaned over a table that has maps on it. And... Uh, He's pointing at something and he says, we don't always run. Sometimes maybe we hide. He says, you may not know, but we have a place here. And he points to a place off to the west that uh, uh, is a lot more mountainous. As you were east. That's a lot more mountainous. Um, yeah, roughly. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's uh, bring that up. Yeah, there we go. This will work. I'm getting a map for you here, real quick. There we go. So the uh, red dot is where Niza was. And that was the town we... That was the town where you spent overnight with Orist and uh, you ate. Mm -hmm. Okay, Niza. And so... Um, let me see. Let me zoom in here. Okay, so the uh, town that was frozen, that was right about here. And your host, and it was it was just just south of that is where the bunker was. Mm -hmm. And uh, you guys are right about here right now. Okay. I got a really thoughtful look on their face. Okay. 
we have a place. Oh, go ahead. We will look. We will look at this place. You will show us someday. And uh, it says, however, um, he says, he points to an area up here, and uh, it's a little more mountainous. And uh, he says that, uh, he says, we have sent a small team up there uh, that uh, to replace. We have a team that stays up at a place up there, and we rotate them out. Uh, we sent a team up, and nobody has returned. Um, yes, um, hmm, capable. I don't understand what you're asking. Oh, yeah. Yes. I sent the name. Vov Um, You know him, and yeah, yeah. Um, he should have returned, and he hasn't. Can I get a ping on the map of, of where that, that point was that... Volkodov. Oh, okay. Yeah, right about here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I changed my mind once I looked at the map. Um. So actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna stick with east. Um, right here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said originally. Yeah, east. If it makes you feel any better, John, um, East makes more sense with the mountain brain. With well, that's why I said it originally, but then I wanted to stay away from Kharkov. But, yeah. meh, it's right there. So, yeah. I think you already have. Do you think your friends will go with you? Good. 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 Okay. <laughs> I, uh, if I were younger, <laughs> I was impressed with the dancing. And the guy with the, really, hmm. the guy with the blue and yellow scarf elbows him in the ribs and says, you are always impressed by the dancing. He just smiles. Ah, good. He grabs your shoulder. He doesn't say anything. He just, you know, looks at you and lets go after about 30 seconds. Okay. Um... 
uh, Zetich wakes up about six hours later. Um, you and uh, Veta wakes up, I don't know, two and a half hours later. And um, right about the time when Sveta wakes up, you're kind of twiddling your fingers, ready to not be catnapping anymore. Um, which mission? Oh, the, yeah, yeah. Um, do you have a blacksmith? Fair enough. Um, yeah, you seem like a worthy people. Uh, can you bring me to the blacksmith? Uh, Okay, so he takes you to an area, um, it's near where the horses are kept, and uh, it, it's still temporary, it's still portable, but it's more permanent than the other tents. Um, and uh, a lot more wood and a big anvil. There's uh, uh, the ability for four um, blacksmiths to work in there at one time. Um, and uh, there's a tent nearby that uh, the door's opening, you can see in, and they have um, all kinds of uh, steel and metals of various types. Uh, it's kind of a Tent warehouse, if you will. Um, the chief is here, right? Nope, not yet. Oh. You just got there. Do you introduce? Uh, you two show up. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Svarog's greetings upon you, but, um... Greetings to you, too, and to Svodon. Um, is there any work that needs to be done here? There's always work to be done. We're, uh, working on horseshoes at the moment. Horseshoes are something that I can do well. Um, we have, many, a, we have a few thousand horses. We're always making horseshoes. <laughs> I understand. Um, believe I'll be able to lighten your load a bit. As okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just shrugs. Okay. He points at an anvil. Near near a uh, furnace. Uh, all that I ask is try and keep the crowds to a minimum. Fair. Um, so I will uh, pull out my hammers and get to work.
lovely ambiance. <laughs> So as you see before, saw before, I, I pull out my hammers, two in hand, and one in the center, and uh, I walk over to the forge, which, and I, I wave my hand over it, and and get the the fire stoked really hot. Yeah, it's hand. hot now. And uh, go and get a. Uh, they have. Chunks of steel? How is how is the steel? The ingots are It's just giant pools of blood that you have to turn into iron. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so. Um no, they have uh they have actual shelves and uh um piles of of uh bars of uh, various metals appropriate to various things they'd be doing and you recognize oh okay you know this is this is the right steel for horseshoes yeah and uh or i don't know whatever horseshoes are made out of yeah well then i grab some of the horseshoe steel or iron or whatever and uh throw it on the forge and get to work all right Yeah, well, bodyguards will come too. They're uh, um, they're permanent shadows. You do have a priest. Okay. Um, I'm asking a question to you and uh, John. Okay. I don't see a message. Um, Type faster. <laughs> Type faster. Use your tiny golden hammers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So my question is, how long will it take to get to uh, the place that we're going? Um. Did we establish rules for for doing what you want to do? Uh, no. Okay. There there are rough rules in the in the game guide, but yeah, yeah. Time frames. I don't know what you want to do. Um. You want to do that today? Uh, I'll think about it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's true. <laughs> well, I guess the, it's just dependent on John and how much time he wants it to take. Yeah. I'm trying to remember which book that was in. Um, uh, it was in Mo Mystic Russia. Oh, it's in the same rule set as the rest of the Guznaya. So the rule set we're not using. <laughs> yeah. I was looking in the Savage World book. There we go. 
and I have rough rules drafted out on how it impacts me, but time frame wise, I don't know. So do you want to say or do you want to type to me what uh, what the effects of this are going to be? Um, <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay. You're talking about page 125. Uh, I... I, I... I don't have it open, but I'll take your word for it. Did you say that? Okay. Where did that window go? It doesn't say how long it takes to do, though. Um, it doesn't say how long the, the craft takes. What I'm worried about is how long the drain will take. And it does explain that. Oh, OK, yeah. Yeah, it takes two to five weeks to recover. Yeah. Okay. Which I didn't um, know if we were going to go by those rules or or keep it around the two week mark or what do you want to do? Yeah, two to five weeks sounds about right. And it'll be very. <laughs> um, where there it is. Yeah, let me just check one more thing. Suddenly, I can't find your page again. There it is. You know, that's one thing I always noticed about riffs is they have they'll have crazy detail um, to the nth degree on something, but then a simple question that you want to know, like how long does it take to make that? They won't tell you. So Google to the rescue. How long does it take to make a horseshoe? I would not think it, so. It actually doesn't take that long. You just have to go shoo, shoo, and make sure you're far enough away from the horse that it doesn't kick you. Uh, <laughs> um,
how long did it take a blacksmith in the 1700s to make a horseshoe? Um, somebody says a week. I find that hard to believe. John, here's here's the blurb of text that I had written out as a rough draft, but I don't know if this is what you want. Um, uh, Sign menu. The bar is cut to length according to type of shoe by shearing blades. The cutting equipment uh, bar is heated to 2,300 Fahrenheit. Softened metal is wrapped around a block of steel. The shape of the shoe. Um, After the bar is bent, it's forced into a die. Uh, once the shoe is bent, punch press, 45. All right, so you, you're faster because you're special. It takes you 30 minutes to make a shoe. Okay. Actually, it's gonna make you 15 minutes. You're gonna be really quick. Cool. A shoe, one. A shoe, so a full horse in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Um, I sent and it's probably taken the other guys an hour to make a horseshoe. Um, and the other thing that you texted me is going to take you two hours. Okay. For a whole set. Okay. Um, what time is it? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right. Like, if uh, these people be up okay with hanging out here for a day, um, I, it depends on how long you want to stay here. Uh, so then I'll spend I'll spend the full day making horseshoes. Um, subtract the two hours for the special thing. Um. And actually another hour because uh, um, I'm going to make uh, a magic hammer too. Okay. Because tradition and all. So okay. Say ending, ending at 10 o'clock at night. I don't know. It's been the whole day. Okay. Um. Did you understand the the thing that I sent you? The, the rough yeah, I'm graphic. looking at it. I'm, yeah, I'm looking at it. We can change the days however you want. There you go. Cool. Um. All right, so you're doing that all day, Svet uh, Zitic. You wake up at uh, noon. What do y'all want to do? <laughs> I barely visit. Okay. Never, never again. <laughs> <laughs> He's shading his eyes and walking out into the sunlight. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice.
<laughs> Poor dude. Sure. Right, right. When, when you say when you say uh, private, you know it's it's his two trusted advisors, um, and and, and the uh, two bodyguards. So you know you're it, him in private is with four other people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, right, right. Okay, so you guys duck back into the tent. DT shall have a, a big grin on his face, like a wholesome grin on his face. Yeah, yeah, like like the intro video. Like the intro video. <laughs> like a spook there, a shaman. Um, we have a shaman. Oh, bullet train or bullet train was saying that you did not have shamans as such. We have a shaman. Well, yes. I mean, not all um, Cossack camps where I'm from are made up of shamans. Uh, they have shamans that had capabilities. Ranging from helping with weather control to helping hide the the um, what did you call it? This group host uh, to hide the host from others. But um, most of the Cossack camp from where I'm from, they don't move around as much as you apparently do. It, it's interesting to see the differences. Oh, well, we we must move. Uh, we've moved forever. We've, uh, as long as there have been Cossacks, we've moved. Hmm. That's interesting. So, uh, what abilities does your shaman here possess? Um, he's on a, in a tent on the far side of the camp. We, uh, we can, we can introduce you and maybe... Um, you can answer those questions. He can, you can discuss that with him. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for the wholesome welcome um, into your host. Uh, it was a very entertaining and welcoming party last night. So thank you very much for including us. You are most welcome. You're most welcome. Uh, <laughs> out, out of character, out of character. No, no, no. Let me finish. Let me finish. The, the conversation we had before was Daniel was saying, like, everybody in the Cossack camp was a shaman. And what I'd say is, yeah, there, there's probably a shaman and there's probably just one. Yeah. I thought um, that's what you said. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's not that you don't 
it wasn't whether or not you had one. It was whether or not everybody's one. Well, um, and, and Zikich also has never been to a, a Cossack camp before. He's never been to a host. He's only met one or two Cossacks that came to the school. And everybody that came to school was a shaman. Was a shaman. <laughs> and talked about how they helped their, um, ho their camps back home. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um. Uh, I think he said guy. He said he. I did say he, but you know what? Um, it's a he, and uh. Do 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 do. do. There's the name, unless Mark wants to name him. Yanbik. Uh, uh, Tanya Bik. Tanya Bik, yeah. Yeah, it means to pull a bull. <laughs> I just. I didn't create the names. I found a list of names online. Okay. Um, the door is kind of open. Um, as you get there, um, there's... Uh, flanking the door are uh, two uh, horse skulls that are painted. Um, the one on the left is painted, um, um, the top is blue, the bottom half is yellow, and there's some kind of symbols on it. And the one on the, on the right is, uh, is a kind of swirl of different colors with, uh, it's got, uh, blue and red, a darker blue, uh, a red, there's green, um, and, uh, and there's different runes on it, and the runes are in uh, uh, alternating orange and brown colors. And uh, so your shaman, he's got, uh, he's not got a standard um, Cossack hairdo. He's got long, longer hair and uh, a big, a big dark beard. Um, bushy beard and uh, uh, brown and green dark green uh, robes and he's got little little like stack little you know this big on strings and, and pockets and bigger bags I'm going to do a arcane notice on the gold Yeah, there, there's some magic about him. <clears throat> he will... Azikish will turn to... Bullet Train? Waiting for the... In, for the introduction? Because that appears to be custom. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. He he uh, walks to the door and uh, um, looks out and says, "Orist, who have you brought me?" Mm. Come, come. Uh, he, he, uh, he points at a spot on the floor. There's, there's carpets on the floor. Gigi will offer his hand. 
Ah, he shakes your hand. It's and good he, to meet he you. gestures at the shore. Uh, and, uh, uh floor. <laughs> Zizi Joel, Zizi Joel, squat. Okay. Um, and, uh, rub his hand tea. on the soil. And rubs him on his hands. Um, what, uh, where I'm from, we've had some, uh, Kosick shamans show up and um, do some discussions with us and talk about what they do for their camps. Um, what would you say you do here? Hmm. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to need to come in on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> um he says uh he says well he says you know i provide services at uh the pleasure of our chief i uh i inform and uh warn when necessary so are you um and he's obviously trying to think of the the right wordage because it's been a while. Um, are you a knowledge seeker that uses fire? Fire? The divination? Do you peer into the fire and learn things from far off places? When you say that you warn and um, seek knowledge. Um, it's something Zizi doesn't have, so he's not sure how to explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he says, "Well, I have, I have various methods. Um, maybe if I get to know you, we can talk about exactly." But um, he turns around and he hands you some tea. <laughs> do you take the tea oh yeah of course and he drinks it he has no reason to doubt anyone in this in this camp so far and yeah. he's also wait hold on let me check uh yeah really naive so go ahead <laughs> so um so when you see him pour the tea when he was making the tea, you saw him, um, he had poured, uh, and actually before you guys came in, but you saw it walking up as he had, because his doors were open, he poured hot water into a glass. Well, for lack of a better term, it looks kind of like a French press. Okay. Right? So imagine a French press that's about this big around and about this tall, okay? And in there, floating in there, are, uh, are leaves um, and just various things. Now that you're closer, you can see that there's uh, uh, some uh, citrus rinds, there's leaves, there's uh, berries, there's all kinds of things in there. Um, and <laughs> it steeps a while, yeah. And uh, he presses he presses it down and uh, pours it out. The flavor you get mostly you're getting um, you're mostly getting it's a green tea. You taste some cinnamon. You taste uh, some orange, um, and uh, you you taste some kind of berry. Mm. A really good tea. This is really good tea. tea he said. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, so you come from uh, some kind of academy in this other world you come from? Yes, a um, uh, place of learning. I Let's was see. just shy of becoming um, a diplomat. A diplomat. Interesting. It was shocking to see 
when coming here, um, <clears throat> how this country is sitting. That is troubling. Where was your school located? Uh, oh, uh, I think it's oh, yeah, yeah. like just yeah. south of Odessa. Yeah, but it isn't. It isn't there here. Um. And when you say to protect the host, you also mean to help raise the Ukraine to what it should be, right? You're talking to Oris. I'm talking to King Kenson, yeah. Oris. Yeah, because you said to protect the host. And he turns to you and says, not just the host, but also raise it, rise up the Ukraine like we've been discussing, right? If no reed is chosen and banded to the other reed, a boat cannot be made. We cannot progress across anything. It all starts at first with one reed. No, what you say is very true, very wise. Um, and uh, hmm. yes, it's worth thinking about. I would have to know where his skills are and where they lie. Um, I'm more than happy to share what I know, um, especially if it will help protect your people from these warlords that you've spoken about, um, especially if, if they come across anything like we just did with that um, winter weapon. Yeah. Winter weapon? Can you tell me about this? That's awful.
Mm. Okay. This is good to know. And you showed him where that is? Okay, good, good. Well, we should talk more. Um, and uh, I don't know if he should stop, wait for Daniel to come back before he talks to uh, Zitich. No, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was I waiting, was you get... <laughs> yeah, I want somebody to get food, but I can sit here and talk. Food? Yeah. Food and gaming. That's about as classic as you get. Um, he says perfect well let me no just let me finish the thought is uh he says uh we should have tea again and we will talk more and i need to think about what you've said he teach will nod um in agreement and thank him again for the tea and his time and um, welcoming him to his hut, and then he will stand and wait for um, Shinkansen, Orist. And... We did it. Um, he, he tells you to, to uh, um, Go away. talk to Tianabek. I am back. No, maybe he, uh, there he is. I'm here. All right. So, um, Chief sees you later that day and, uh, um, asks if you're going to leave uh, the next morning. Okay, he says uh, uh, he just shakes his head and shrugs and says, amazing. It is very kind. Tomorrow, I will have uh, um, your horses ready for you and supplied. 
Perfect. Have you yet talked to us about what you're planning? He hasn't. <laughs> Is this both of us, Betta? I think Betta's still oh. obeying hammers. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, of, of course. Of course. I, I would help you find your friend. Are there threats in this area that we should be aware of? Has your group come across, your hosts come across anything that we should be knowledgeable of? Well, we always avoid patrols uh, from Arloff. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, and of course, there's uh, wild creatures. Uh, Nisa. Yeah. Good. This is good to hear. <laughs> oh, there's lots of wonderful things being made. Wonderful things being made. I need to look it up. It sounds really familiar. Where are you, Mouse? Oh, yeah, they are good. Um, I think they're Polish, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've had those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are good. Yeah, they are really good. But ZTK is not, so he will definitely be eating those. Yeah, we kind of forgot about Una. Una, um, I did. Una's been overwatching Feta. Um, and uh, just, just absolutely amazed. Absolutely amazed. <laughs> and uh, uh, what time is it now? It's uh, it's bedtime. Uh, unless you guys want to do something, you've eaten, you go to sleep, and you wake up in the morning. Um, um, I'm gonna ask. Oh, you. There are some things you need to do. Yes, there are. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Oris to uh, bring uh, the the host leader. I forget his name. A young priest and an old priest. Yemelin. Um, bring Yemelin and his 
brew back. He just shakes his head and says, uh, it, it's a blessing to our host. It is a blessing. Yeah, we're truly blessed. Um, so as everyone shows up. Yumalin shows up. I'm I'm just getting finished up with my my last work. Okay, make another metal smithing roll. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um. And uh, you know, I put all my tools away, and I walk over to uh, Bodin, uh, the blacksmith, and I tell him. Uh, all blacksmiths are blessed in Sparog's eyes. This is my gift to you as thanks for sharing your equipment. And I pull out a, a magic hammer and give it to him. And he, he holds it and he just says, I I don't know what to say. Uh, this is this is this is an incredible gift. I nod and then turn to uh Yemelin and uh, reach into my bag and pull out uh, two horseshoes that, that... You mean four? Sorry, yeah, four horseshoes that that you, you, you can't tell what they're made of, but you can tell it's, it's an otherworldly metal. Your minotaurs will be even faster now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I hold them out to him and say, these are horseshoes of the gods. As you know, these, with these, one of your horses can run 30% faster, leap 50% higher and farther, <laughs> giving no extra stress or fatigue. Their statistics will raise by approximately 15.67%. <laughs> yeah. And they will, they will fatigue at half their usual rate. Um, this is a gift. This gift is a blessing of Sparog to use as you see fit to best ensure the safety of your people. I give this blessing as thanks to your host kindnesses and for Aura's great acts of strength on our travels. He, he takes the horseshoes and he says, uh, I will make sure they, they're they used on the correct horse. Thank you. Thank um, you. And as he thanks me, I, I say, um, now I require rest, and she visibly slumps over, exhausted, and pushes her way through the group, blinking her way back to the tent. Right, yes. Probably not much else. Okay. Awesome. So, let me catch everybody up here. I better pack. I'm going to get a drink. All right, so in the morning, you guys, uh, he leads you out to the horses. You uh, all the, uh, you see that there's full saddlebags on on all three horses. Um, there are bed rolls, there are uh, blankets, and uh, um. Yeah. And uh, is there anything that you specifically need or want?
<laughs> it's funny. I was just thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, there there there's uh um yeah, there there's a part of the camp um uh, mostly ladies, not completely, but uh that uh, do that and when you introduced they were more than happy cuz he's so cute. And uh you uh um you notice in the morning that uh um you have an an extra bag. It's not big, but you do have an extra bag. That's clothing and gear for Una. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, whether it's whether it's uh, broken weapons or vehicles, because you do have vehicles, you've got a lot of stuff to move. It's not just horses. Um, yeah, absolutely. He's uh, Una's been busy, yeah, happily so. Una says, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I do as Farag bids me. <laughs> it's not really applicable now. This is just asking you because Vista keeps mentioning Slovak. Slovak? Slovak. Yeah. Yeah, this is asking who that was. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this time, yeah, it's uh it it's it's the god of smithing. Um it it it's um It's you you might know that. Hmm. God of blacksmithing, and if you ask some, he's also a god of creation. So, What are they keeping watch over? Uh, they're keeping watch over a place where the host would be safe. Is part of the host there? 
Okay. Mm. Rest is something that I need. <laughs> Okay. Um, did you see my question? Okay. Um, somebody made. Somebody made a leather seat slash saddle that mounts to the front of your saddle. You have a baby Bjorn that now has Una in it. <laughs> and uh, the back is actually split um, to make room for his tail. <laughs> I, no. <laughs> All right. You have a map to follow, and uh, um, following the map, you you ride. Go ahead. It's a pretend map. No, nope, not yet. Um. map you can see right now um that shows you where the mountain fortress is um and uh i'm gonna assume that one of us actually has a map now okay yeah. <laughs> well that's why i said you have a map oh i didn't hear that yeah. <laughs> i said it mm. apparently apparently he's playing that I role. remember us not having a map earlier and like yeah, I said it about two or three times. So on the map you're looking at, the route you need to go eventually turns into a road, and you are on the road. <laughs> and so you ride till evening, um, and um, do you make camp? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> Jesus will take his two main fingers on his left hand and he'll place them in the in the dirt on the ground and feel for a ley line. Um, there's not one near you. There are no ley lines near here. The ley line is when I was able to do that last time. I mean, now you I mean, use flight one. Yeah, if you pass flight, I use flight to stop Zeta from. Well, try to stop Zeta from. No, no, no. Be, you uh. I thought the first time I used fly the spell was on Sveta. You've done it twice. Oh. I don't know. Sure. And he'll fly up and use it. That's fine. Whatever. It's one of those... It's one of those spells that's ridiculously expensive. Like, prohibitively expensive. No, he'll use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
you are to save your friend. Uh, psh, psh. No, apparently not. <laughs> I asked you if you were going to do that. Your answer was no. It's a hell that's, of a fly roll. That's my fly. <laughs> wow. And that's my notice with um, long range. With yeah, you don't see anything. Um, a road leads up into the mountains. Um, you do... See, no, you don't see anything. There's nothing to see. <laughs> that's I know that. <laughs> that's the pretty people, awesome. Actually, the people here don't even care about about raising up Ukraine and when he's just drawn. <laughs> about man, I'm imagining that's. I'm imagining that scene with Superman, you know, where he, he, he flies up and then he he's kind of falls back over and he's orbiting the earth. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. My people are shattered to the wind, so no, we can't help. <laughs> All right. Um, it's nighttime. Are you guys going to camp? All right. You're in a rocky area. Um. It is a rocky road. Um, you're currently, um, currently the the forests are probably um, 150, 200 yards off both sides of the road. Um, but you are entering an area that has uh, forest. Well, I mean, it. You're you're going between it. Your road's been going between. There's forest on both sides, and has been for a while. <laughs> forest, no forest. No oh, right. Yeah. Forests are bad. Yeah. On the road is an option. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay. There's just a big thump and the car's like flipping. <laughs> yeah, you actually find a spot, a, a low spot. Um, laying down, you guys would be kind of hard to see. Um, Okay. All right. Are you setting up a watch schedule? What's the schedule? Okay. Okay. So Oris is first. Who's second? Zizi should be second. Okay, got it. All right. So What the heck? Oh, right. Um 
Z-Teach, um, you've been awake for an hour and 15 minutes or so. And uh, um, there's two directions you can look. You can look behind you at the forest, or you can look across the road towards the other forest. Behind you, uh, the forest behind you, you see some moving lights. They're not coming towards you. They're moving back and forth. And they're kind of intermittent. Like, um, and you see them best when you don't look at them. Like you see the light and then you look. And as soon as you look, it's not there. And uh, you might actually kind of half wonder if you're actually seeing it, but it's happening often enough that you kind of doubt it, but maybe it's really there. It's a, is it's a, a soft green glow. Where is it? He has a version of like thermographic vision. He wants to see if there's anything out there that's putting off heat. Or IR energy. Mm -hmm. So that would be a notice roll. And, and this is part of your armor? So yeah, my armor can do farsight and then it can do like a version of, of thermographic vision. Oh, um... When you switch to thermographic vision, um, the uh, um, you see what you would expect. The uh, forest, which naturally holds the heat from the day because of the branches, is slightly warmer than the cool air and the open field you're in. So you can see that. Not much warmer, but but there's a temper gradient difference. Um, otherwise, no, you don't see anything. Um, you don't see any heat sources moving around. And they seem to be staying a certain distance away from us. Yeah, they're they're ten to twenty feet in. Um, in the uh, forest. In the forest, it's how far away from where I'm sitting? Um, about 200 yards. Oh, so they're like 615 feet away from me. Yes. Okay. Unless they start coming closer, I'm just going to let them be. Okay. Um, he wants... Actually, I apologize. I apologize. He won't let them be, because I just looked over and saw my hindrance, which is a major <laughs> hindrance, which is curious. So he's going to, <laughs> he'll look back, and he will, uh, he'll cast invisibility on um, his two friends and himself, and he two will, friends? yeah, oh, three friends. Three friends and himself, <laughs> and he will um, start moving towards the lights. So let me cast invisibility and spend those points. Is you, you gonna wake one of us up first? Nope. All right. <laughs> okay, I failed that time. Let me try again. Actually, I'll use Benny. Wah. Invisibility. That's much better. Oh yeah, that'll save you some points. <laughs> Okay. And then I'll look back, make sure they're invisible, I'm invisible, and then I will start moving towards um, the green lights. Um, as you... <laughs> what do you mean, me? You two are asleep. 
And you're you gonna ass assimilate us. <laughs> All right. So you walk. Now your invisibility is just visible. It doesn't uh, do anything about sound. Is that so right? So I believe that it's correct because I think the beefy version is from everything, but I didn't do the beefy version. Ah, okay. All right. So. And really, um, that requires sight is made at a minus six. Okay. Okay. So you walk towards the woods. Um, Wherever you're looking, you don't see the lights. If, if you're looking straight ahead of you, um, you don't see lights, but you'll see them in the forest kind of off to your left, and then they'll disappear, and then they'll be off to your right. And Even, and you, even with me being invisible, they, they're, they're, they disappear like that? Yes. Ooh, creepy. I set the forest on fire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, he will. Um, hmm. Hmm. He didn't take the illusion. <laughs> the fairies ate my baby. Um, he'll sit. He'll sit in the forest and see if the lights come any closer to him. In the forest. Yeah. How, I, how apologize. Uh, I apologize. I apologize. I was moving up to the forest until right. I can see something. I'm moving up to the forest, and then I will step into the forest if I still can't see anything and sit down, hoping okay. they cross my path. How deep in the forest? <laughs> you said they were about 15 feet in, so 10 miles. No, um, the 15 miles. You said they were about 15 feet in, so I'll stop like five feet in. Okay, so you're five feet in. <clears throat> um. Okay. Um, Major complication. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I yeah, absolutely. Um so you sit down and uh is there a maintenance cost on your uh invisibility? No, uh no, it only lasts for five turns. So by the time I get to the forest, it's probably just about spent. Okay, let's say it takes you two yeah, let's say it takes you two turns to get there. Um, you sit down. And as you sit down and you sit still for a minute, um, you begin to see these balls of kind of pale green light kind of just slowly drift past you. I would like to do an arcane notice roll. Okay. So, I feel the things. <laughs> so. These are flaming skulls, and they noticed you. <laughs> um, so. Two turns left. Um, you know, obviously you see, you see them, you can slightly see through them. You can tell arcane notice that yes, they are mystical things. Um, you get a, a wave of, uh, you just sense from them 
just a way not directed at you but just an inherent to their essence you uh experience a wave of just malevolence just absolute utter hate for anything that breathes yeah uh as it passes me and gets a little bit further away he will scramble the f back okay um is that a make, stealth check yeah, make a uh make an agility roll agility uh, i want to see how fast you're running and whether you trip on anything in the forest of course you do I only have a D6. Um, yeah, I'll spend a penny. <laughs> and I'll spend my last penny. So when you spend a Benny, you have to take the new results. You can't like choose the best of the two. You have to take the new. I have to. It was my last Benny. <laughs> so, so you feel that wave of malevolence, and your curiosity is gone. You're all you know is, I need to leave, and you turn around and. The forest has moved. Ruh -roh. The forest has moved? You walked in. There was this nice uh, open spot to walk in through. And when you turn around, there's a whole bunch of trees in the way. However, um, you... In, instead of turning around and running right into a tree, um, you run around the tree, you see a little bit of moonlight, you run at the moonlight, and right as the invisibility quits, you hit the edge of the forest. Do they seem to have noticed me? Are you going to look back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're coming after you. All right, I'm going to teleport. Okay. I'm going to teleport to, like, Angled. I, and if I was running straight forward, I would run straight forward for our camp. I'm going to angle it, like, 45 degrees to the left okay. and teleport there. Okay. Um, to the road or? Uh, whatever the distance will get me, just so that I, if they are chasing me, they're not chasing me straight back to the camp. Okay. Okay. Uh, the place the farthest away from any forest is the road. Or is in the road, yeah. Okay. Uh, the the road at a 45 degree angle. So go ahead and yeah, you're there. <laughs> if you let me finish my action. And uh, he's he teleports, uh, he teleports and goes, <gasps> and then makes an exaggerated motion of looking back at them. And you see a wall of light right at the edge of the forest. It's not coming out of the forest? It's not coming out of the forest. But you still, because you rolled a 20, you feel just this wave of hate directed right at you. Right at me. Right at you. Okay, I will cast teleport again, and I'll teleport straight back. Like, not, sorry, not straight back to where I came from, and not straight back to the campsite. But if I was going to go in the same direction... Towards the other forest. Towards the other forest, I would teleport there. Where, gonna, as far as I can see. You're going to teleport to the other forest. Well, not into it. I learned my lesson there. I'm are, trying to see if, if, if they are going to follow me or if I can lose them. I see. Um, 
do a notice roll before you teleport. There's red light coming from the other I'm just sitting here eating popcorn, waiting to see how this all pans <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see uh, lights, not as heavy, but there are lights on the edge of that forest, too. Okay, uh, ZT should go invisible again. Okay. And he will walk, um, like... 30 feet to the left and see if it's still directed immediately at him. And then 30 feet to the right and see if it's still directed immediately okay, I at got him. You. Yeah. Go, go ahead and roll, see if you can. Okay, invisibility. Boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You know, there there's this wave of malevolence that's just kind of spilling out. Um, so it's not a laser beam. Okay. Right? Um, you walk and um, you do notice that over time the light gets dimmer and starts moving around. Okay. They, right. Um, but for it to completely go back to normal is it, it takes about the time for you to wake up uh, Sveta. Okay. That's fine. Uh, so he, Zitish will slowly make his way back to the camp. Like, very slowly, not wanting to get the attention of anything. And he will um, take his uh, necromancer staff and poke Sveta <laughs> like in the legs and feet uh, to get her to wake up because he's seen what she can do with hammers. He has no interest in, be in being the end of that. Uh, you, Sveta will see him scared like Zetis usually isn't scared he usually takes things pretty easily he's legitimately frightened um so i'm gonna wake up still groggy af um and uh ask what's wrong <clears throat> nothing you don't go scared. in the don't go in the forest i um had to pee. Don't go in the forest. You fool. What did you see? I'm, I'm not entirely sure what they are, but it's some kind of glowing lights that are... Let's just say they don't have our or anyone else at heart. And I, I'll point. Do you... Does Sveta see the lights? Um, make a notice roll, Sveta. Um, it's the same thing. You don't see the light where you're looking, but kind of to the left or right, you think you see a light, but maybe you don't. Um, uh, can I roll common knowledge from her growing up next to a forest so that she might know what it is? Um, sure. Yeah. No idea. All right. Um, what are these lights? I ask. Um, Could I make a spellcasting roll as a knowledge roll to see if I had encountered these mystical beings before? Sure. I hadn't, I hadn't thought about it until right now. And he may not have, until he calmed down, he may not have even considered it. Um... Probably not. Yeah, roll again. Because you're kind of thinking and you're thinking about it. And uh, yeah, um, you heard of this thing called, uh, oh, what was it? Uh, um, it's like a willow tree, a willow, 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 willow the wisp. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, it was a willow the wisp. You heard of those things. They're like lights, but 
scary somehow and that's what I will describe. They seem bound to the forest. Um, once I exited the forest and hid and moved and hid and moved and hid and moved, um, they went back to what they were doing. So I think we're safe here, he says with a kind of half-hearted smile. There's one thing you should know about our world. It's do not enter the forest. I'm I'm getting that feeling. Yeah, you get. Um, is <laughs> you got is, it before I said it to you, Chris? Yeah, is is Aura close to us, or is he in his own separate tent? Um. Yeah, no tent. <laughs> no, there's no tents. Um, just bed rolls. And I, yeah, you guys are all in. You know, right next to each other. Uh, I'm gonna wake up Oris. But they're they're staying there. There's no reason to wake him up. Again, <laughs> my character's cautious. I'm waking up Oris. <laughs> um, I tell him. I, I tell and him. And you know, went into the forest, and. <laughs> I'm I'm right here. It it was fine. It was just there was something in there that was spewing some kind of evil, noxious evil. Then why did you bring us here? <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by forests. I'm I'm thinking that might have been some information that could have been helpful before I took watch. Was yeah, we did. <laughs> I don't remember that when we were talking about crossing the the uh, 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 ley line for the first time. There was a forest on the side. And... So what you're saying is, as we were walking through a ley line, you were talking. Yeah, I probably <laughs> didn't hear that. <laughs> Nothing came out of the forest, but there's plenty in the forest. Then we should consider ourselves lucky. We should go back to sleep. <laughs> don't be so sh don't be so sure, slumber. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you actually want to? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I would do that. Zeech would not do that. <laughs> uh, but Zeech will, knowing Zeech needs the sleep and just spent almost all of his powerpoints, uh, he will be going to sleep. Okay. All right. So you're, <laughs> so, so you're telling me you're waking up the girl who is already still dead exhausted. <laughs> Early, <laughs> and then now you're gonna work, we'll watch the rest of the. Well, no, it was your shift. It's your shift now. Uh, yeah, it's your shift on time. Okay. Early. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why he waited. That's why Zitish waited. <laughs> so I'll start my shift. Mm -hmm. All right. 
three hours later, the sun starts coming up. Um, you saw the light. Well, you kind of saw the lights. Um, they weren't there when you looked for them, but uh, the sun starts coming up. The lights are completely gone well before that. And uh, um, yeah. Clear, no clouds. Um, was this the time that we decided we would start moving again? It is. All right. So I'll wake everyone up. Hey, this is light. It's <laughs> huh. uh. dawn. All right. Well, according to your map, you should um your the road will curve to the south and right about that point there is a uh, a rocky pass that you'll go north on. Okay. So, and that's about 2 hours away. All right. So, okay, so you guys ride on for about an hour, an hour and 45 minutes. And everybody give me a notice roll. Yeah, it reloads the whole thing when you, uh, probably yeah. when you did the video thing with Daniel. Oh, okay. Please, sir. All right. Um, Sveta, you know what? You're not paying attention to anything. I'm still uh, just way too tired. <laughs> Deep Peach, you are way over. You know everything there is to know. Um, and uh, Oris, you notice too. There are the sound ahead of you, um, a ways ahead of you, um, maybe a mile or so. But you hear the sounds of combat. There's rifle shocks, explosions, um, and uh, maybe the sounds of people shouting. Yes. I need to tell you all before we start doing that that I'm still weak. Um, so take that into your planning. Okay. So So you guys, um, um, and and I had the horses on there in the bottom left. Um, I didn't know if you were going to be on the horses or whatever. I just put horses on the map so I could have them in case we needed to know where the horses were. But if I understood you, you've left them behind a little ways. Okay, so ignore the horses on the map. Um, so this is the map I made. This is the one I made. It took me. 
less than five minutes. It was three minutes. Um, the uh, the road color is the base of the map, and everything else I did with a paintbrush. Hmm. Um, so. It's always no, its own window for me. No, he means so that you can move it off of the page, and I, I, I can. Haven't... Oh no, huh? It has to stay within the confines. It's a rule twenty thing. You can drag it over the text box, which I don't know, depending on how much you see. Is... Yeah. Yeah. There are three groups fighting. So what you see, you are behind um, the first force. That's these guys here. Um, they are wearing um, gray uniforms uh, with gray body armor. Um, you see they have red shoulder boards. Um, over here. You see a force that's mostly in black, um, no real uniforms, um, look kind of like mercenaries or whatever. Um, and uh, um, and you've seen them before. They, they look like some of the warlords forces. And up, up here, you see this rocky, there's rocks on both sides. Okay. Um, and in the middle of that, you see a bunch of um, um, uh, Cossacks that are just um, kind of hunkered down, taking the brunt of two forces. So there's kind of a three-way fight going on. They are, yes. Okay, so the colors here and here instead of grass and probably you know mission up to your knee depending on places. The dark the the brown here is supposed to be fallen leaves, so that, that's forest. Okay. Uh the gray is uh stone and then the this brown is is just a mud packed uh, road. Um sure. I'm going to finish stealing cards to everybody. Do you want the uh, six or the six there, uh, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be pretty hard choice. All right, I'm going to use the restroom. All right, All right. perfect. Do you have to designate add time or something? Like, what's the point of the breaks? Yeah. Oh, okay.
And it is convenient for short bathroom breaks and stuff. Oh, in Twitch? That's not good. Testing, one, two, three, testing. Testing, testing, testing. I can, yes. Let me let me do something here real quick. See uh Now let's see if I'm echoing in my head. Hmm. I can hear you through Twitch if that helps. I can hear you through Twitch too. I was just checking. Well, I heard you just fine in Twitch. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. And I have it. Yeah. Let me see if I can turn. Audio output, strongly. nope, <laughs> you still hear it, boo. Yep. I can.
I can hear you. I think our voices are still transmitting. Yes, yeah, so that's weird that this year's been. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, Mark's going to work on the uh, sound, but we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on the game while he's trying to make sure that other people can hear him. Now I'm hearing myself. <laughs> mm. uh, the morning vigor role, role was addressed to me, I assume? Yes. Okay. Uh, so four plus two. Not that that matters. Um, yeah, you can take a day off. All right. All right, Z teach. So that makes it seven days. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. I, I missed something. Boom. There we go. Bullet train here first. By the way, just FYI, um, you have the highest six. Um hearts is will go when there's a tie hearts will go before diamonds the the suits are in are in reverse alphabetical order so it's it's spades hearts diamonds clubs oh my goodness that's just a lot of bad guys there's a lot of bad guys Okay. Did you have a specific question or you just want me to describe it again? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I um I I'll explain that again. No problem. Uh Mark is No, no, no. It's fine. Mark has asked about terrain, what's the terrain look like? So uh, here on the on the uh, bottom side of the map where the green is, and hopefully you see my uh, pointer, this green, wherever you see this green on the map, that's grass, and that grass is mid-calf to up to your knee. Um, you can see it here, you can see it over here, you can see it here. So that's grass. Um, where you're standing, is uh, 
dry packed uh, dirt. It's just a dirt road. Okay. okay. Um, the gray that you see here and you see here, that's stone. That's, that's, uh, there's kind of a canyon. That's the beginnings of the canyon. And the Cossacks here in this grass have some cover uh, provided by these stones. And what is these up here? And that forest. Um, what it's supposed to look like is leaves on the ground. Got it. So I would think we would... Pro like, forest during the day isn't ideal, but it's better, right? Yeah, yeah, it's... It's completely different, and you're if you go a few feet in, whatever. Yeah, so probably go to like here to where we've got some cover. Okay. Remember, your pace is six. Uh, where was I here? Um. Yeah. So I need. I think you're good. And then. And I can't hold a half action, right? Correct. Like I was going to wait. Yeah, I'll just wait then. Um, I'll wait till everybody's in cover before we start shooting or doing anything. Okay. So you're just going to end your action. And Correct. if that's the case, you then you can just double your move and get oh, completely that's true. into the forest. Yeah. All right. That's good. Okay. I don't want to go too far in, but... Able to hide behind trees, not easy to see us, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got a good spot behind a tree, and you can see what's in front of you. Is the okay. forest reasonably safe in the daytime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's not as, I'm going to kill you, you step one foot in during daytime. Yeah. Uh, daytime's a big deal. And, and you're on the very, very edge. So you should probably be okay. Okay. Um, that's what we're all doing is going over there. And uh, one, two. That's as far as I can get. Is that what's your pace? Six, but it's half. Oh right. So that wasn't six, was it? That was three. Well, if all you're going to do this turn is run, you can double it. Yeah. One, two. Just go there. Okay. All right. Um, and actually, you went before Zetich. Oh, uh, well. It's, it's okay. Zetich doesn't exist, apparently. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Uh, Zetich is going to move with the rest of the group and fall in behind. Okay. Could, could I make us unseen? That's a no, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Nobody says anything. Oh, oh, I didn't under understand that you were asking. <laughs> Should I make us unseen? Uh, um, yes. How does it, how does that work in this game? If we attack, are we still invisible? Yeah. Great. Absolutely. Okay. Do we want Una to stay here or stay with the horses or? Thanks, I need Mashed. to quit forgetting about, I need to quit forgetting about Una. Um, are you leaving Una with the horses, or? Uh... Does Una have any weapons that would be of assistance? <laughs> Una does not have any weapons on him. Then, I, if the horses are are off at a safe distance, right? Yes. Then I I would think leave him with the horses. Okay, Una's with the horses. Um, I'll need to. Need to make a tiny little dot and call it Una. Um, okay. Um, that oh yeah. I I think I might have made it with my invisibility check. Just I'll say. Maybe. Oh good lord. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but I 
think I think we might be invisible <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, the entire Earth goes invisible. Um. Wouldn't that the whole swath of forest goes dis- dis- disappear? <laughs> wouldn't that be weird? Like you'd be you'd be sitting wherever you are right now, but all you could see would be stars. <laughs> and then you'd probably have a heart attack. That uh, would be uh, that would I be think, weird. I think that I rolled so well that all the trees disappeared, which is why we only see the leaves on the ground. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Um, yeah, you guys are, I, I'm, I'm going to say you guys are silenced too. Um, all right, my turn. <laughs> Have fun my... with that. All right. Uh, 10 o'clock. Yeah. All right. Um, Wow. I'm three rolls in and it's nothing but misses. Oh well. Wow. That's why okay. That's why they've been fighting for the last two and a half days. I know it's crazy. Um There we go. One thing I probably should have asked is with the two groups, where is their aggression? Are they both attacking the Cossacks? Are they? Is it a three-way Mexican? It's standoff? a three-way battle. Of, um, I did answer that. Okay. Um, but no, I'm happy to tell you again. It it's a three-way battle. Um. Okay. And. Okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, uh, Disciple of Destiny 10 shot Orloff shoulder, soldier number three. And uh, actually, yeah, and uh, he, he's stunned. It's the first person who's accomplished anything. Yes. It's like stormtroopers shooting at stormtroopers. What's the symbol on the Disciple of Destiny 10? He's stunned. Oh, okay. I thought that's the one we were always using for stunned. Or shaken. You mean shaken? Shaken, yeah. All right. Um... Just gonna shoot here, and the other symbol. Because I John thought we were freeze. using the Orloff Soldier Three symbol for shaken. John, did you freeze? I think, I think he froze. Just having all kinds of good technical stuff. I have another podcast to do directly after this one, so I'll have to figure out what's going on. Oh, I just got a message from John. My PC just randomly restarted. That's not good. I have been reminded for about the last week and a half why I love my Macs. Tonight is the first night with the ducks sleeping outside. 
instead of in the bathtub. So she's making sure to prep and that they have a nice warm area. And you don't have cats or anything around there that can get them, do you? So they're, they're getting put inside of a kind of large cat carrier in their pen. Give me one second. Hey, you know what this is? This is a good time for another commercial. Do it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. What's the technical difficulties? Do you get like paid a bonus if you put in extra ads? No problem. Yeah, so basically what happens is I get a credit every time I do it. So like I just did a three minute ad break. So I get 40 minutes where people can log on and they don't have to watch the 30 second stream. Mm. And now I'm going to be talking in bite side chunks every time I need to talk for the rest of the night. Because I hear hey, myself. I am back. Hey. Welcome back. We're on an ad break. I figured it was a good time to sneak it in. There's two minutes left, so take your time. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm back. That was a heck of a deal. Just gotta love what it just all of a sudden. I got a blue screen of death, and then it said, you're rebooting. There was a problem encountered, you're rebooting, and it counted up from zero up to 100% at the blue screen, and when it hit 100%, it started rebooting. If it makes you feel any better, the gremlins have... Um, my internet connection is, like, getting super wavery, and you guys are, like, lagging a lot. Yeah, I think it's because I was in Twitch and in Roll20, I think. I've kind of had that happen before. One minute left. Smash, if you're time. still monitoring, can you hear us through the break? I don't understand how these ad breaks work at all. Because, like, I'm on Twitch, and I don't see any commercials. Yes, I can still hear you. Wait, are you smashed into? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, we're not on, in an ad break on my screen. Yeah, I wasn't either. And smashed isn't either. Okay, great. Hey, if they want to give me credit for nothing happening, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Maybe in the replay, that's where it's inserted. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. That's hey, Chris. Welcome to the stream. All right, uh, 10 seconds and we'll be back. I'd say we're good to go. I'm almost done with everybody's attacks. Okay. okay. Daniel, what time did you need to bail tonight? I know you said you needed to leave early. I probably have another... 20, 30 minutes. Okay. All right. So, you know, like one or two more rounds. (laughs) 
I think John just whispered me, why does Daniel have zero PowerPoint? PowerPoint? Yeah, to feel yours. All right. So, like I told you before, there's kind of three fights going on all at once. Everybody's shooting everybody, kind of. Um, you've got two of Orlop's gangs that are shaken. Uh, one of the Disciple of Destiny has been killed outright, and the uh, um, the uh, Cossacks are, at the moment, fine. Oh, um, Forgot to move people. All right. All right. So we will uh deal deal and deep teach you have uh, the black joker and Z teach, which you means you can hold the, and interrupt if you joker. so choose. And I, I would like I would like to hold and interrupt. Okay. Um, in which case it's my turn. No. Um, oh, well, this is interesting. Um, yeah, but I can do it another way. Oh, no, it has to shuffle the deck because it ran out of cards. Mm hmm. I am. Um, I. There we go. All right. I'll take the queen. I bet you will. Come on. Let me put it there. There we go. All right. You've got your queen. All right, so um, I forgot to move the uh, Cossacks here. All right, go ahead and uh, you're up, uh, Orst. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the plasma rifle twice at the Disciple Destiny. Okay, which one? Um, they they all have a number. Three. Sorry. Okay. First shot. And second shot. And I ignore up to two points of penalties, but I shouldn't. I don't think I should have any. They're well within range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, both hits. Okay. And uh, you should get... Uh, you should get bonus damage because of raises. Okay. So first damage without raises, 25. Okay. And then second one, and what's the extra damage I need to roll? Well, you kind of obliterated him with the first roll, so. 
Oh, great. <laughs> so, and, it, and it's a D6. Should I roll it now? Uh, if you want to obliterate him some more. Yeah, no, I'm good. Um, okay. Um, that if if what you said holds, it would be a minus six for anybody to even hear where that came well, from. It's all so it it's just based on sight. Yeah, but it is a minus six for them to notice us. Right. Okay. And then it's a minus six for them to search for us. John said you rolled so well that it was my it was it also applied to sound. Oh yeah, awesome! Yeah. It was a really good roll. It was an amazing. I'm, I'm kind of awesome, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Um. All right. So unless somebody's going to do something, it's now my turn. Your turn. Like how Daniel really stay in the character and is also invisible on the screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little frustrated that you guys aren't. Gee. <laughs> it should just be John up here by himself. <laughs> All right. Um Not all of us have go. fancy space to walk around in our cameras field of view. That's true. That's true. What you guys see right now is like 95% of Mark's nice, Chris. 95% of Mark's whole apartment is right there, what you see in that camera. 100%. <laughs> no. Did you see your pillow? I like your invisibility screen, Chris. <laughs> it is a very conveniently like green screen, blue colored magazine. <laughs> I'm not going to hold that there forever. <laughs> This is the part where we need to ask Jan a bunch of questions. Is he making this rules is the for all the people? Where we need to ask John a bunch of questions. Yeah, I gotta fix this. Just a second. I'm almost done. All right. So the shooting continues. Um, or if you, you, uh, took out disciple number three, um, you see disciple number eight crumple forward, um, and, uh, um, unfortunately one of the, uh, Cossacks has, uh, collapsed. And unless Zetich wants to do something, Sveta, you can go. Uh, Zetich, do you plan on... Give me one second, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Whoa! Ba, 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 ba. Okay, sorry, I am looking something up because it's going to be a lot of PowerPoints, but I think it's going to be very useful. Okay. Do you want Sveta to go while you're looking it up? Uh, yes, because it won't make a difference. Sorry, yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot at this. Oh. Destiny 1. Okay. Uh, And because I can, um, I'm going to enchant it with steel, which is plus 2d6. Okay. Good night, buddy. Love you. 
And that was right into the mic, sorry. I love you too. Love you too. This button. Good night. I love you guys too. Uh, you hit. All right. And it's plus one armor piercing, if that matters. Well, plus two armor piercing, actually. Okay. Are you going to roll your damage? Oh, that, sorry. That was, that was the damage. Oh, well, let's roll the hit then. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm just going to. So there's the hit. Okay, you hit. And then we'll just count the previous number because I already rolled. Yeah, yeah. We were going to. All right. This uh, arrow just tears right through him. And uh, um, he falls to the ground. All right, Zetich. All right. Zetich is going to move. Ah, not you. I couldn't grab myself without <laughs> grabbing you, and now I can't even... There you are. Oh. Did you let him move me? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, how many spaces can I move? If you're going to do something else, you can move six. Okay. Uh, let me show you the measurements one more time. Although it might be five. Okay. And then check this. All right. <clears throat> this is going to be a lot there. of points. If it works. As you teach, is going to grab a handful of leaves and he will hold them up in front of himself and he will crumple them and let the pieces fall from his hands as he begins to cast his spell. Wind will blow past collecting the pieces of leaves and blow out towards the Cossacks. And... Eh. Oh, I have one. I will use a Benny. Thank you for the Benny. You're welcome. I thought you did a good job with that major hindrance. I thought it deserved being rewarded. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, and he and the wind will carry the small flecks of dirt and um, leaves and, and the like and create like a deflection shield in front of between all of the Cossacks and the people moving up against them. Okay. Um, and so I, I'm actually casting the powered one, like the big daddy one. And with a raise, it means they get a minus six from all of the attacks against them. So if they have protection or armor or whatever, it doesn't, it stacks because this is subtracting from the attack. I got it. Okay. It subtract what? <clears throat> minus six from minus all six. attacks against them. Yeah. Because, they, because they got it with a raise. Okay. Okay. And then he will, not that anybody can see it, but he will, uh, like, stumble a little bit. And then I... Oh, come on. If an invisible Z teach falls in the forest, can anybody <laughs> tell? No. Does anyone care? That's the question. I care. I... I care if he falls on me. This becomes a four. Boop. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm done. Okay. I'm just looking something up real quick. How to remove mages from the game.
Okay. All right. Um, and that's everybody's gone. Um, you want to bring them inside? Yeah. They're going to, sorry. All right. Um, I have the Black Joker. And I will choose to move. Can I have now. my second card? No. Yes, Please? of course you can. Yes, you can. Um, I will give you the higher card. Thanks. There you go. Now you have the higher card. <laughs> you did go up. <laughs> All I'm right. Not sure about that. All right, um, you see uh, Orloff soldier number six shoots a rocket and it lands right about here. And uh, there is an explosion. And it kills a guy and stuns another guy. Um, Or Or Orloff soldier number soldier number five throws a grenade. It uh, seems to kill one of the uh, Cossacks and uh, shakes two of the others. No, the minus six didn't help him. Ooh. All right, the Cossacks are shooting back. Which one's your friend? Olaf, which one's your friend? He, he's indicating by clicking on the map. Oh. Also, my name is Orist, not Olaf. I'm not from Frozen. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of ice demons. I just figured you were one of them. All then right. Let it go. So, Z-Teach, you're up. My wife is going to be up 15 times tonight to check on the ducks that are sleeping outside. Nice. My sister raises ducks. So I understand. They're they're both still really young. They've been sleeping in our bathtub, but we have a. I built an enclosure for them outside. Why can't I click on you? There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I have an enclosure, or we have an enclosure that we built. So, um, I want them to use it. 
I am. I don't want to wake up to. Two a.m. Was that Duck Psycho? Yeah. <laughs> it was. Well, I in the shower, so it makes sense. It was. I was telling her you should put him in the shower. Mm. And change that to three. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, eight, seven. Nope, not quite yet. That yet. And I will take a shot. Who are we shooting? Um, uh, um, discipline, Disciple of Destiny 4. Okay. Wow. That'll do. That'll do. Roll your damage. Plus the D6. Plus the D6. Yes, sir. Oh, it, never mind. <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to be high enough. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, Zveta. Um, one, two, three. And... I'll shoot for Disciple of Destiny 9. Uh, uh, I'll, en I'll enchant this one with field also. Okay. So we'll go back to that. Set a hit. Um, yes. And then that. Bullet train. Okay. If you get high enough on armor penetration, will it go through an enemy and hit another enemy? Um, <laughs> theoretically, yeah, I guess that's possible. With an armor piercing be, of two, would that do it? <laughs> it, it? They'd have to be perfectly lined up. Um, I don't know if that would. No, no, that would not be perfectly lined up. Figured it was worth asking. No, that's fair <laughs> enough. Because that'd be really cool. <laughs> so I am shooting that guy. Orloff 2. Orloff 2. Yep. Okay. He is exactly 24 inches away. Okay. Guy with the sniper rifle. Got it. And first roll. Nine. Second one. 28. All right, they both hit. Damage roll roll extra one? damage on the... Yeah, okay, you got him. That was the non-extra damage one. I, he's, and, and it killed him. Okay. <laughs> That's my turn. Um. Okay, time to deal. Oh, actually, time to shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> I don't know. That's three in a row of dealing that card. I don't know yeah, what's going on. At I don't need my other card. Around. <laughs> At least it's moving it around. I guess. Yeah, that's... Um, 
All right, Shinkansen. Are you going to move or interrupt? And you no, and which I one? both got the Black Joker, and we're both at five now, so we know what Mark's going to be next turn. <laughs> yeah. Taking the second card. Um, which guy threw the grenade? Orloff sh Soldier 5. Can you ping him for me, please? Yes, sir. Great. I'm shooting at him, and I'm okay. ignoring the minus two range penalty. Okay. Let's see here. Um, yeah, those aren't going to hit. I'll use a Benny. Okay. I've used a Benny all week, or all day, night. Technically all week. Technically all week. <laughs> It's a minus two for medium, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me roll this again. He also has a um, it it it's a minus four to shoot him because there's rocks between you and him. Okay. Does nineteen hit? Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Twenty three damage. Yay, right. hey, that's my turn. Oh, actually, I'll move. I'll move. Two, three, four, five, six. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. Um, Sveta. Strategizing my shot now that I know that this can be possible. <laughs> but I can't see anything that'll make that work. Um, so he killed the guy that shot the grenade. Mm -hmm. um, who was the guy that shot the rocket? Uh, Orloff Soldier 6. Um, let's see how far that is. So, looks like 24, right? Two, Don't forget, three. you can still move sick. Yeah, well, three in my circumstance. But that's still fine, because I can ignore two. Um, so I'll shoot him. Oop. Okay. And, uh... Because it's been doing pretty well, I'm going to keep on with the steel. Which puts me at seven shots left. Did you miss? Whoop. All right. Um, why not? <laughs> all right guess i'm just not gonna be making that shot <laughs> all right um me um Ta -da. okay I used a Benny. Good 
do what? To re-roll. So who's attacking at this moment? Orloff Soldier 6. Thank you. All right. Um... His uh, blast lands in the uh, amongst the uh, Cossacks. All right, Zetich. Wow, even with the deflection there, and dropping like flies. Yeah, it's the area effect attacks. Are the Olaf ones the ones that are... Or loft ones, the ones that are using mostly area attack? You are correct, sir. Uh, the big one's coming from Ol Orloff Soldier 6, which is this guy here. Okay. Yep, I'll fire at that guy. Okay. That's not going to hit. And I have no bennies, so that's me. All right. Um... Can you only spend one Benny per turn? That's a yeah. house rule if it, if you can. There you go. Hmm. All right. Orist. I assumed you wanted the ace instead of the queen. Yes, please. Um, one second. I gotta find me to move me. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then. Oh, yeah. Well in range. Two shots. Seven and a ten. Um, and I ignored yes, both two hit. points of penalty. Okay. Yeah, both hit. First damage, 25. Yeah. You got Second it. Second damage, 38. He's so dead. <laughs> You're 38. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, Z-Teach. Zitich is going to move up. And we'll fire at Soldier 4. Because she looks ugly and his mother dressed him funny. Soldier 4? Which one's 4? He's attacking. Oh, assets. I see. I got him. Yeah, that one. Okay. Yeah, the, the things were overlapping for me. And 11. You hit. And 19. Look at that. Oh, you give the mage a gun and said. he can kill things. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. All right, Sveta. 
Um... I will move one, two, three. How long's uh, how many more rounds your invisibility got? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have went down this one. This should be. I think two one more, more after this one. Yeah. Boop. It should be two, because I've been pretty good about dropping it. Okay, two. Um. And then the um useless master deflection should be another round after that. It's been doing great about getting shot at. But <laughs> I'm, I'm just giving you. It, 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 no, no. I mean, it, unfortunately, I. Um, I did equip them with area attack weapons. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure you did. Is there <laughs> any other person here that like has a weapon that we should be concerned about? From what we've seen, um, probably you killed off the guys soldiers. with sniper rifles. You killed the guys uh, on both sides with bazookas. Um, you've seen one guy use a grenade. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot that guy. Okay. And uh, I'm going to keep at it with the steel and hope that it doesn't bone me again. Yeah, no, that's not going to hit. You ignore minus, you ignore two points, right? Yes. Okay, it hits. Okay. Um, so then. Okay. So the first thing that happens is this, 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 huh, okay. This, 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 this. okay. All right. All right. Jeez. You might as well not it, have a minus six. Yeah, I rolled really well. <laughs> All right. You probably shouldn't have told him which one your friend was. Probably. Well, I know what his name is. It's, it's right there on his name tag. And ironically, Mark, is this guy had that name uh, when I made this map earlier today. And I decided earlier today, before you even asked, uh, one of, that this guy was one of your friends. So. Nice. Um, Okay. We're going to get there and his friend's going to be the only guy left alive. <laughs> or? No. Oh, shit. That's with a minus six. Yeah, the... the uh... This guy, who, why doesn't he have a name tag? Because he's got the power of plot behind him. Why isn't his name tag showing up? Oh, show name tag. That helps every time. Okay. Um, Orloff Soldier 11 uh, threw a grenade. Okay. 
and time to deal. I'll give you the eight. <laughs> it's a higher card. <laughs> yeah, I'm beginning to question my expenditure of points on this. It helped a couple times. No, it has. It has. Um, is he targetable? Um, yes. But you're going to have a minus two, even though you ignore a minus two because he's behind rocks. Using area of effect. Well, apparently they're gold. <laughs> I know. I'm totally invested <laughs> in one. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny. I have area of effects, and every time I've used them, they've done like. He's, he's not behind rocks Thank anymore, is he? No, he's not. You're correct. Because. Okay. I have a range of 15, so I need that minus two to, to cover the range distance. I got you. Um, just fuck that guy. <laughs> Family show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see you're feeling the feel. <laughs> At the mid. And yeah, no. Well, ignore the minus two for the range. All right, yes, you hit. All right. Oops. Okay. All right. Um, that's the end of my turn then. Um, me. Sorry. All right, Shinkansen. I will attack two. Okay. Just shoot him in the back. And I think you're visible now, correct? Uh, I think we still have one more. One more, okay. Uh, let's see. Hit, hit. Okay. And you said number six? Uh, no, number two. Number two. The one closest to the caucus. Ca yep. sacks. Blah. All right. Uh, Z teach. I don't know why I'm not splitting these shots up. I totally can do that. Yeah, yeah. Can you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I totally can and I just Yeah, forgot. that's a huge waste. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I really don't like these guys. 
Yeah, you're killing the the uh, the heck out of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. You can tap those sticks. Yeah. Hit. I think. Do you ignore range penalties? How much is my range? Uh, it should be on your character sheet. Did we put that on there? Yeah. Oh, seven it inches. Be is on that the short gun. range? Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's twenty four, forty eight, ninety six. I thought I was well within. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good. You're right, good. It's it's a rail gun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it, says, it says in the description. It says um, counts as a shotgun for innocent bystanders because the rail gun shoots through the people you're aiming at. <laughs> Yes, it does. <laughs> so I, I've been very careful about making sure something's not behind me. 31, take that. And I'm done. Uh, okay, deal. Um, Orist. I'm just confirming. There is one behind us. I don't see that. That's Feta. Oh. Yeah. All right then. Then <laughs> I'll shoot at six. So, so yes? <laughs> question mark. <laughs> I will shoot at six. Eventually. A five and a seven. You said you were shooting at six. So I'm asking, do you mean number five? Whatever the one is to this, this yeah, one. Yeah, that's five. Okay. And yet I'm you hit out. twice. You hit twice. Twenty-five and thirty-six. He's very dead. Is that the? And I will move. Two, three, four. Um, there are no other targets, right? There are not. But I figured we'd finish the round. Yes, I will move. One, two, three, one, two, three. Are you doing anything else? It's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, Zitich? He thinks he's going to climb the rock here because all of this stuff wore off. And um, he's going to stay next to Earth and help where he can. Okay. Um, me? Um, these guys run over and start trying. You see them kneel down and, and they're trying to do first aid, seeing what they can do. And uh, we'll stop the turn order there. We'll end combat there. Um, so whatever you want to do, go ahead. I um, hobble my way up to the rest of the people. How, okay. how dead are these people? Yeah, that's what I was going to check on. So... Your friend is uh, um, mostly dead. Is mostly well. He he's he's talking. He's semi coherent, um, but he's also spitting up blood. Well, mostly dead. He's so slightly alive. <laughs> and uh, he sees you come up, and he holds his hand up towards you. He's, he's laying on the ground. Oris, Oris. I tur I lean back. I, I turn my head to the others, the other living um, Cossacks, and I say, find out which of these can be saved. And then I will lean down to his friend and poke him in the gut. All right. <laughs> Hi, you. <laughs> All right. That looks painful. 
so with the raise, um, he heals two wounds. Okay. Um, so he's got his arm up, raising his arm towards you, reaching towards you. He's saying, Oris, Doris. I clasp oh, arms, and I kneel down, and I say, I'm sorry, my friend. We did not get here in time. You came. That's what counts. Hold still. My friend Z Teach will do what he can for you. Yeah. He, he, he uh, lowers back down the ground and he, he's he's breathing but he's unconscious. And um I am what I'm going to do for you, Z Teach, is I'm gonna do this. Um, doing the triage things, those are the ones that are within the realm of saving. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I only see. Oh, I see. Okay, and Mark's friend has already been done, right? Yep. Okay. Two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to make. I'm going to start by making checks. I have enough, if I get raises with each check, I have enough to do all four. Okay. Well, you've already done, you've already done his friend. And I already, took, point, I already took points. Okay. So oh, what really? are we doing next? Is this, this is his friend, right? That's Shinkansen you're clicking on. Oh. Okay, but so yeah, I have three. Okay. Green dot just north of that is... is okay, great. then never mind. I'm going to make three checks, and that will empty me out. Okay. Unless I get raised. So who's the first check on? Oh, huh. Uh, I'm starting... I'm going to start here. Okay. And I'm going to go clockwise. All right. I also have a first aid kit, so I can do healing rolls, but I'm trying to read up how to do those. Should I leave you one? Well, I think... Your magic thing is going to be yeah. better than putting some bandages on. <laughs> so he heals. You can, and if you can't do anything, I'll try. And he I'll heals you. I mean, I rolled a twenty-one. He should damn well heal you. Um... Actually, just a second. I'm going to pause this oh. for a second. There we go. So green means you did what you need to do, and they're good. Okay. And I so, got a 21, and then I got a 23. So, so that's number two is the 23. Yeah. So uh, is that that's Urbic Fist or uh, Nep Clockwise. Okay, that Nep yeah, Vodka. Right. Yep. All right. And then my third one. Pop, pop. Yeah, still heal. And still two. Okay. Yep. And then Zitich is going to sit down roughly in the soil. Like. <clears throat> yeah. I'm All sorry, right. I couldn't do more. And Shinkansen will clasp on the shoulder. Rest, friend. You did a lot. You saved these men. All right. And then he'll turn to the, the guys that are up and say, what happened? Um. We were returning from the rotation, and uh, we've been pinned down here for uh, two days. Um, we, we recognize Orloff's men. We don't know who the others are. And uh, uh, for the longest time, everybody was just dug in. And uh, right before you came, uh, apparently they decided they were just going to make a push for it. And uh, I'm sorry we did not get here sooner. Is there anyone else who can be healed? No. Okay. No. The, the three dead guys are... Dead, dead. Yeah, they're pining for the fjords. <laughs> I'm going to take a look through the Orloff bodies and see if there's anything 
we can equip these remaining Cossacks with. Like AoE weapons. Um, yeah, you amongst what you're going to find amongst all this is you will find, um, you'll find eight fragmentation grenades, MDC fragmentation grenades. Um, you'll find a sniper rifle. You'll find a uh, you'll find a uh, rocket launcher. And uh, let me see. I'll take the rocket launcher. God, I'm hearing myself. I'll take the rocket launcher back and hand it to Z Teach while he's sitting in the dirt recuperating. Watch, watch over them, and I'll go get the horses. I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you the name of all the weapons. Okay. Um, you find. Uh, I love how ZT is becoming like the heavy weapons expert completely unintentionally. <laughs> you find you find yeah, uh, your your next move is to install the rocket launcher on my armor, right? Like the predator <laughs> cannon? Yep. <laughs> um you find fifteen assault rifles. <laughs> you find um nine laser pistols. Um, all of them had MDC body armor. Um, all of the MDC body armor now has holes in it. So a question about that. If we mix and match from the remaining body armor, how many full sets can we put together? Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah. The uh, um, the Orloff soldiers looks just like you know ragtag mercenary stuff. The disciples of destiny looks like uniform stuff. Well, we'll um, put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll put seven of the eight sets of body armor on. The Cossacks. Okay. Because I'm assuming uh, they're not wearing MDC body armor. They had the lightest armor. Um, yeah. They weren't really equipped very well. Okay. They they weren't a I'm you, going into battle, get it out, which is also kind of why they got... The only thing they had going for them was the extra cover by the rocks. Shabbat and Z teach no objections there, right? No objections. No. Okay. Um, I have no use for this modern stuff. Otherwise, you find things like bed rolls. You find some. Uh, uh, you find some more of those uh, same exact uh, MREs you found before uh, with the disciples. Each one has one or two of them. Okay. And I'll take all of them, and the contacts can have though. Okay. And then I think, yeah, I'll, I'll set Zveta and Z teach up. I'll give the sniper rifle to Zveta, the rocket launcher to Z teach, and then I'll go get the horses and bring them back. And we can probably get all four of them riding 
over the horse while we walk them back towards the host. Okay, well, um, your your friend uh, was the one leading this team. And he still, you have healed and stopped. They're not going to die, but all of the guys with green dots are unconscious, um, at least currently. And uh, so you've got three guys that are up standing. Um, so you've got three standing that are okay, four unconscious and three dead. Um, and one of the three says, It's a long, um, it's a long walk back to the host. Mind you, it took you a day and a half riding to get here. Um, and these guys are on foot, um, for whatever reason. Um, and, uh, they say perhaps we should, instead of going to the host, maybe we should go to the stronghold. That's fine by me. No worries, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. We'll see you Thanks next week. Running. Yeah. Thanks for running. Thanks, guys. Actually, is this a good point to call it? Um. Yeah, not a bad point. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, assign values to all this gear. And, yeah. uh, no problem. Um, do you want to take any of the frag grenades? Mm -hmm. But I mean, we can divvy <laughs> them up. I, okay. We we can do that next time. Okay, it's no problem. It's all in a pile right now. It You're is. all sitting on it. It's not dangerous at all. <laughs> <laughs> Battles go quicker when you fight extras. That's right. Yeah. And now they're literally extras. <laughs> so when I created this map I named it Hammer and Anvil I don't get it I'm, I'm kidding shouldn't it be Hammer and Sickle <laughs> I know <laughs> I know I, um so, all right, guys. Well, um, I had a blast. I hope you enjoyed. It was fun. Yes, thank you so much for running. Thank you all for joining us. As okay. always, if you'd like to support us, you can do so by clicking that follow button on Twitch or the subscribe button. If you're on YouTube, uh, hit that like, subscribe, and ring the bell so that you get notified whenever we upload new stuff. And then lastly, you can head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com slash gamersledge where you can get your name on everything we do for as little as a dollar a month, just like these fine folks coming up. For Chris, for John, for Danny, myself, thanks for watching. Till next time, game on.